guys, what's up? My name is Aiden, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thingamavlogs cake. But this isn't going to be just any ordinary cake. This is going to be a thingamavlogs hidden Mickey cake. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of sounds pretty exciting. So let's get started. You're going to need some vanilla cake mix, and you're going to need at least two or three boxes of this because you need enough to make five different colored sheet cakes and also to make a round cake at the end. So to bake the cake mix in, you're going to need some cake pans. So you're going to need um, a flat sheet cake pan and a round cake pan. I'm not even sure what these sizes are, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Once we slice into the cake, that's where the Hidden Mickey's gonna be. So, to make those shapes, you're gonna need a cookie cutter. As we all know, Theme of Logs has five main colors. So blue, green, purple, yellow, and red. And we want to make those Hidden Mickeys the Thingamavlogs colors because it is a Thingamavlogs cake. So to do that, you're going to need some food dye, five small bowls and five spoons so you can mix the five different colored cake batters. And you're also going to need all the stuff you need to make up your cake mixes itself. Now to decorate the cake, which is the fun part, I'm going to be covering the whole thing in vanilla icing. So I've just got some pre-made icing. Again, it's easy and it saves a lot of time. And on top of the cake, I'm going to be putting the Thingamavlogs logo. And to make that logo, I have some black candy melts. And to make the logo, you're going to need um, a flat baking tray or a flat surface and a printout of the Thingamavlogs logo um, and some baking paper to trace on top of. So I got that right there. I'm just going to be putting the colors around the logo. So to do that, I'm using Smarties, which are kind of just like a different brand of M&Ms, but I couldn't find M&Ms in the colors that I wanted, so I'm using Smarties. But basically, any candy-covered chocolate will do that has the colors of Thingamablocks. So that's essentially all you really need to make this cake. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first off, we're just going to mix our cake mixes. And pro tip, use a sieve or a sifter if you're not using an electric hand mixer because that just makes the process a lot smoother. Now that you have both cake mixes ready, just go ahead and separate them evenly into five separate bowls. So once you split your cake mixes into five equalish bowls, it's time to dye them in the thing of Logs colours. So just make sure you have separate bowls and separate spoons for mixing because you don't want to contaminate the colours and make a colour that you don't want. How bright or pastel you want the colours is kind of just up to you. I'm going to make them pretty vibrant, so I'm just going to add enough food colouring until I'm happy with the colour payout. I'm going to make my blue sheet cake first, just move these out of the way. So you want to try to make them reasonably thin because if they're too thick it's going to be really hard to position them, um, but you don't want them paper thin either so you just sort of have to eyeball it and go with what you think works. Yeah, now we're just going to put this in the oven until basically you stick a fork in it and it comes out clean. So this cake has finished baking and I put it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes just to help to make it easier to cut the shapes out of. So that's what we're going to do now. Put some wax paper on top of these shapes. You could also just use separate plates if you wanted to. Um, but that way the cakes don't like stick to each other and the colours don't transfer over. So I have the final cake mix here and I just put a thin layer and I baked it just to give some grounding for our Mickey pieces. And I just want to spread another thin layer of cake batter to sort of act like glue. So now we're just going to arrange the rainbow Mickey heads into the cake and hope that it works. So 
So these are kind of sticking up, but that's alright, because we need to leave room for the cake to rise. So, um, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to melt the candy melts over a mug of hot water. I just prefer to do this rather than using a microwave, but it's a Mickey mug. You can't really see it. It's, it's a Mickey mug. So just add a reasonable amount of candy melts at a time, and they'll slowly start to melt. And then we're going to transfer it into like a little plastic bag or a piping bag, and then we're going to pipe the logo. So this is how it turned out. Um, the top looks a bit uneven, but that's okay because we're going to cover it all with icing or frosting anyway. So it's totally fine. So cake is iced. And now um, around the outside edge, I'm just going to put some of the colored chocolate candy Things. I separated them into bags while I was waiting for some of the cakes to bake. So now we're going to just do that. This is what it looks like on the outside when you're done. I haven't cut into it yet, so that's still another thing to test. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Hit and make you guys, we did it. We did it. I'm so proud. I've never been so proud in my life. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a thing of my vlogs, hit and Mickey cake. Um, just keep in mind this can be a bit of a lengthy process. It did take me two days to complete the whole thing, but it depends on how much time you have and what equipment you have available to you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to Thingma Vlogs for more magical Disney content every single weekday. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, magical day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you around. Bye!